And Patrick, just before I let you go, I wanted to ask you about your Twitter account. You know I've been following you on Twitter for a couple of years now. Just this morning, your time, tweet storm from you about Elon Musk and this gag about him buying Coca-Cola to add the cocaine back inside. Can you just explain to our viewers what you were tweeting about? Because you've got a bit of history on this. Yeah, I, I used to teach American business history at Tsinghua University in Beijing. Um, and so this is actually, I, I, I lectured on this topic, which was uh, the history of Coca-Cola and how uh, Coca-Cola had originally begun as essentially a, a, like an elixir, a, a drug in the late uh, 1800s, took the cocaine out when it was obvious that it was uh, dangerous, but then was accused when, when the FDA was established, was accused by the kind of crusading head of the FDA that they were deceiving customers because they had take the co they had taken the cocaine out. And so he was saying, you know, either you're selling poison or you're lying about with your name what you're selling. This went to Supreme Court and uh, in a landmark case that was decided in 1920, it was just the Supreme Court ruled that Coca-Cola, the name didn't really refer to its ingredients. It was something that was well known to the community. And it was really a, a very important um, event. The, the, the gist of this is, is that there's always a story behind things, you know, e things that come up in the news. I'm a big history buff. And when I look at markets and when I, you know, refer to things like uh, what happened after World War II with inflation, you know, I think as many historical benchmarks as we have, historical reference points that we have, uh, help us out looking at markets and looking at investing. Indeed. And Patrick, always important to remember, it's always more than a meme. If you don't follow Patrick on Twitter, you should follow him, by the way. Very prolific. Patrick, appreciate the conversation this morning. We'll have to leave it there. You go get some sleep Thanks. now and enjoy your weekend. That's Patrick Chauvinick there from Silvercrest Asset Management.